So I got this great question about a foggy gradient mask. And to be honest, I wasn't even sure what that was. I had to look it up. And once I realized what it was, I spent hours uh, playing with it and doing it in Camtasia. I think this is going to be a really cool effect that you like. So let's look at what we need to do to create this effect. We'll start by downloading the two files we need, the gradient file and the smoke file. So after those two are downloaded, drag those into your media bin. Now we're gonna start with the gradient file. So I'm gonna grab that gradient file drag it to my timeline, and we can see that it comes in as a square. Now, most of our videos are not gonna be square, so I'm gonna change the project settings. So I'm gonna change this to our standard 1920 by 1080 video and click apply. Now you can see it doesn't go across the entire screen, so I'm just gonna change the scale here to 50%, and that should make it go completely across the screen. Perfect. The next thing we wanna do is go to visual effects on the left and find color tint and drag that to our image. Now you get to pick the two colors that you want to use for this gradient effect. So you can pick whatever you want. If you want something like uh, red and purple, for example, we can use those two colors. I would also bump up the intensity to 100%, and then we can lower it later if we want. So you can see we're just fading from a purple color into a red color. All right, now let's grab the smoke from before. So we'll click on the media bin, and we'll grab the smoke file and drag it down. Now the gradient effect that we have, we're gonna drag that so it lasts the duration of the smoke video. And then we're gonna add the luminosity effect. Now here in Camtasia 2021, I can go to visual effects and grab media mat, drag it to the smoke video, and then change it from alpha to luminosity. If you have Camtasia 2020, you can right click the eye icon and choose luminosity from there. And now as we look at the smoke, I'm gonna click play to play through it. And you can see that there's this purplish smoke on the left and reddish smoke on the right. And as it plays through the video, whatever's on the left is gonna be purple, whatever's on the right is going to be red. Now, if we wanna change this, no problem, go to our gradient. You say, well, there isn't usually purple smoke. Usually smoke is like red or orange or something like that. Okay, well, change it to orange. And then again, if we play through, we see it orange here on the left and red here on the right. Well, what if you wanted those flipped? Well, you could flip those two colors here. Or what if you wanted orange at the bottom and red at the top? Well, no problem, we can grab our gradient and we can flip it that way too. We can just say, well, let's spin this 90 degrees. And now the orange is at the bottom and the red is at the top. And again, as I play through this, everything down here at the bottom is going to be orange. Everything up top is going to be red. So now we have this really cool effect that will have two different colors of smoke as it's playing through this video. So maybe we want to use this as a foundation for text. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste from a previous project. I'll just use Control V to paste this. And then I'll show you what I mean by this. Now this track, I want it to be lower, so I'm just gonna click here on this track and drag it to the bottom. But let's look at what I mentioned before, which is a foundation for text. So if I play through this, you can have some kind of animated text on the screen and then have that smoke in the background. Now, this red and orange kind of looks scary a little bit, so it's probably not the colors that I would use. So instead what I'll do is I'll just create a split here on the gradient and I'll just cho choose two other colors. I use some uh, yellow in here, so maybe I'll change this lower color to a yellow, and then maybe I'll leave the upper color as orange and try that. So now as I play through, that looks a little bit more exciting. It looks a little more lively. We can also use this as a video overlay. So you can see here, I put my video down behind and then I put this smoke around it. So if I wanna look at just this track itself, I'm gonna hold down the Alt key or you could use Option on your Mac and I'll press the I icon. And you can see that I'm using a red light in the upper right and a blue light in the upper left. So maybe I want my smoke to look the same way. All right, so let's click this off. So again, I'll hold down Alt and turn that off from soloing. And I'll go to the end of this video and I'll just create a split there on my gradient. And I want to have blue into red. Okay, so I'll grab the darker tone is what we had on the left. So that will be blue. So I'll grab a bluish color there. And then red, I'll grab a nice bright red on the right. And one more thing I wanna do is change this back to zero so that I truly have blue on the left and red on the right. So now when I play through this, now I can see there is this blue smoke on the left, this red smoke on the right, and it's probably a little more intense than I want. So if I need to lower the effect, you can see I can just drop the opacity as far as I need to. And if I want just like a subtle kind of smoke there, I can, I can have it a lot more subtle than it was before. That's an option. And then let's go to the next clip. And here I have a product box. So again, I'll change the colors of this. I'll go to my gradients, I'll spin it back to zero. And because this has green colors in it, then I'm gonna choose a couple of greens. So I'll have the light tone be a nice uh, bright light green, and then I'll have the darker tone be a darker green. We'll go even darker than that, we'll bring it down to here. 
And then, like I said before, if it was too intense or not intense enough, we can increase the opacity as needed. So we can make it really smoky or barely smoky at all. We can find whatever that right balance is. And as I play through that, you can see that smoke moving very subtly over the product. And then one other thing we can do is we can have a logo revealer. So I have a logo that is uh, bluish. So I'll choose blue and purple for the two colors that I want to use. And then I'll go ahead and spin this around. So we're back at zero again. And then I want to increase that opacity. I want to bring that all the way up so we can see that smoke a little bit better. So now I'll play through this and you can see this image appear and then fade out and we still have that smoke in the background. So I think that's a really cool way to create an overlay either for videos or to have it as a background for your text or a logo revealer. And if you have another great idea for something you'd like to see in Camtasia, I'd love to hear it. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see in Camtasia and I'll see what I can do to create that for you in the future. Thanks for watching.